Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I come in quickly because there is no preparation needed. The fact is that God is inside every single human being to the fullest degree that the human will allow it. If the human agrees that the door can always be open, this is the finest thing that we want to hear. Instead of compartmentalizing your meditations, your prayer time, or your channeling, it's always there, it's always available. And so it's not just a church experience, it's not a reporting on Sunday experience, it's a 24-7, it's a 24-7. And even as you sleep, there is a blessing of your dreams. And when you awake in the morning, you feel it and you know there is no switch to be turned by a human being that wants to honor God. The channeling this evening is what I told you it would be. It's a personal one. In review, we have been telling you for weeks, if not longer, of the things happening on the planet of the energies. We've told you about the, the future. We've been telling you about the energies that are coming in the next three years. We have been discussing things which are multidimensional and some things which are confusing. We're talking about the human soul and the attributes to come and what it means and where you are in history and what year you are in the progression of evolution. And yet, when we would gather with a group of human beings and we would say, and now what are your questions? They would say, what do I do next? How does it, how does it work with me now? As a person who has to live in my society and fit into a box, the way I earn my living, what I do around others, my children, my families, I'm not able to be a monk and, and just walk away. What is it I can do as an old soul for this planet? And I'm going to address it. There are several attributes that I want to give you, and they are almost equal in the number. It's not about actions. It's about your consciousness and how you perceive all of this. The first thing I want you to do is to relax and know that you belong here. This is going to be belief, and we have talked about this before. You really want to know what to do? Every single one. I want you to relax and know you belong here. There are some who would equate your importance with your deeds. And you'd say, well, I haven't done this and I haven't done that. I haven't gone here. Some of you have said, well, this person has written many books. I've not done anything. I want you to relax. And I want you to know this from me to you. Dear ones, in all love, I want to tell you, your being here is enough. Do you know what this means to the planet? To have a human dynamo, a generator of light living here with the experience that you've had, old soul, where you've been there and you've done that and you've solved the problems and you've had thousands of lifetimes in both genders and here you are walking around asking me what to do. You've done it. Your very existence is light for the planet. Now I'm going to give you some attributes to make that light shine in a time when we need it because this is your time, but don't you ever ask what you should do 
because you've done it. I couldn't be stronger in the love that it takes to give you this. No matter what your age, young person, senior, it doesn't matter. The light is multidimensional. It'll carry over the gap of death. Some of you will plant things just by being here which will remain on this planet forever because consciousness stays. The things you do and say are remembered by humans. Sometimes humans that are small and you will change their lives just by what you say and how you act and what you do. Sometimes there will be a person riding along with you, watching how you react to somebody else on the, on the freeway, perhaps, who is not as kind. And they'll never forget your reaction of, of compassion instead of anger. They may even mold themselves after you, and you'll never know it. You are influential because of who you are. You're experienced. And it shows. Experienced. What the experience often does is taint you. And you know it does. You expect more from people. Because you've been here so often and done so many things, and you hit a situation where there's uncaring or inefficiency, <laughs> and you are then one who would say, it didn't work for me. You expected more. I know this, old soul. And these are the things you're going to begin to shift. So it's not about what to do next. It's about how to be. And so we're going to give you a little list here. It's a personal list. We always, get, we, we, we always give you the things that you need to hear for the audience who is listening and is here. I know who you are. We always do. It drives the channels, if you didn't know that. You need to hear it. In the room are giants of old souls. Giants. How many of you remember the shamanic energy that you used to have. Some of you are beginning to pick it up again and you feel it so profoundly you're even dressing like it. Honored for it, all of it. You are beginning to awaken to God inside. And it has so many forms for there are so many civilizations that you've been through. And there is no beginning of judgment about how you process this dear ones God inside is unique unique for every single one of you you've been here so many times and done so much I already gave you number one relax and know that you're here on purpose and being here is enough number two I want you to start understanding and believing what we're telling you about these times because there are so many going into fear right now for what is happening on the planet now this we have told you before but this is personal because I know who's here it's going to be frightening to some of you to see what is happening on the planet for it hurts your heart there's a tendency to check out, and what I mean by that is not death, but to simply turn your back and say, I've done my part, I'm done doing my part. It's getting a little harder. And I'll tell you what, this is why you came, warrior. This is why you're here. I don't want you to have to watch it on television. I don't want you to even have to know about it. I want you instead to not fear it. The fear will shut you down. For it is going to be chased away eventually by you. Holding light at home, at work, at play, 
and practicing compassionate action on this planet. Do not despair. That is primary. We told you that. Here is the, is the third one. I'm going to call it acceptance of a quality that has not been here before. This is new to you. This energy is creating benevolence in all aspects of your life. Your consciousness and the change of it and your belief of it and your acceptance of it triggers things that have not been here before. There are energies now on the planet being flooded with light. There are actually entities and beings coming here by the tens of thousands that you have no description for. There is nothing that we've ever told you about it that are flying here at light speed, you might say, for your benefit, but it isn't, to change who you are. You've got help. You've got help. You walk outside and you step on the earth. The earth is different because you're an old soul. Your free choice has given you an advantage for the first time of awareness of a new energy that is occurring. And this legion of light beings is going to start helping you in all things. Now, I haven't really put it that way before, but that's the way of it. And that's the way it should feel. What do you think about the statement? Old soul, you have been pushing the mountain forever. It's been tough and hard, and every time you were born, it was hard. You were up against an old energy. And if you were brave enough to ever raise your hand and say what you felt about God inside, or even worse, have shamanic energy, it was not a pretty sight. Cast away some of you, exercised some of you, isolated some of you, killed some of you. And here's what I want to tell you. There is more acceptance today from the general civilization of your shamanic energy and your compassionate spirit than in any time in human history. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. And the help is here. Believe in the benevolent source that is going to help you to your next step. You've never had it before. Start pushing on the doors that you think have been closed forever about where you might go and what you might do or what others might think of you. And you're going to find new acceptance. Don't be surprised whether your light is seen differently than it ever was before. Here's another one. Now we get into action. Dear ones, do not isolate yourselves from the rest of the world. This is what you've been doing because you had to for survival. In order to believe what you believe, you collect in groups because you know the others are not going to be with you. Dear ones, when your neighbor sees you coming and they cross the street to avoid you, you know something is up. Huh? You've isolated yourself through your belief or your actions. And that's got to change. And it's not going to change by anything except that which is your personality becoming softer. Less critical. More loving, more benevolent. Some of this is difficult because it is not what you have been in the past. But I want to tell you, as soon as you start looking at things differently and you say to your cellular structure, your Merkaba, to the God inside, I am changing. 
I am more compassionate. I am more aware. I am that I am. It all lights up. It all lights up. And you walk around no longer in the dark because those who need to see your light will be attracted to you. And the entities that I've talked about and all of those who are flying to earth to help will then be attracted to this consciousness and you're going to be lifted and it's going to be easier. We told you a while back at Christmas time. Do the hardest thing you can ever do. Go back and be with the relatives and be peaceful with it. Because some of them know what you represent. That you perhaps left the fold, you, you left the religion, or you left the belief system. They sometimes see you as odd and strange. That is changeable with compassion. Because the action that you have, which is compassionate, is what they will see. Don't tell them about cryon. Don't tell them about Pleiadians. Don't tell them anything. Show them love. Your compassion will do more for this planet than any other single thing. It's the light source. It is not your job, dear ones, to take a human being and convince them you're right. It is not your job to make them come to a meeting like this. It is not your job to do anything but to love humanity in a way that is so attractive they'll want to be next to you. And when they are someday, and they look at you and they ask, what have you got that I don't have? Then you can tell them, <laughs> you've got God inside. Without a doctrine, perhaps, without a building, perhaps. And they'll listen. This is the army of light that is going to win this world. And we've told you before, it's not what you think. Because the actual truth is that consciousness is over physics and is always able to change it. You just don't know it yet. And that your compassion will be seen as a driving force of this planet. If you're a healer, congratulations, we need you. If you're a reader or a healer, channeler, author, it was that which came about because it needed to be, and you came in with the tools for it. Congratulations. And if you're not, I want to tell you that compassion is the king. You're going to do more with your compassion than any channeler or healer. Don't isolate yourself. I want you to start practicing affirmations. It's time that you understood sound, consciousness, color, all of these things have energies. My partner has talked about the numerology, all of these things. Affirmations is your consciousness with your voice speaking to your reality and your cells saying the things you want them to hear. And you do it in the first person, I am. I know who's here. Perhaps you should wake up in the morning and say, I am healed. I am getting a good night's sleep. I am pleased and celebrate this day. Could you say that every morning? I am pleased. Meaning that you are happy with your existence. And you're celebrating the day. Affirmations, develop them first person, positive, and start saying them to yourself out loud. Crying, do I really have to say them out loud? It's better if you do, your ears will hear it. Your ears hear it, and it's a different reality. It's a 3D reality, it's what you're used to. Let your ears hear who you are. 
And in your cellular structure, there is data that, is, that has its antennas out just ready to hear from the boss, who are you? I am healed. I am benevolent. I am compassionate. I am happy in my existence. It is well with my soul. That's powerful. And everything you do along this line will collect light. <laughs> you will start to change faster than you've ever changed before. Expect healing and change in your life that is faster than ever before. Let the proof of my words tonight be in how fast this occurs. And you'll know there's a benevolent energy that's attaching itself to you. It's so good. God is going to get bigger for you. Light worker. Army of the light. Last one. This is tough. It's out of your culture. It's out of your civilization. It's not in your tradition. I know who's here. I want you to try something for me. See how it feels. I want you to start honoring your ancestors. Now, I know who's here. And you're saying, I don't know who they are. <laughs> it's a different world today than it was for the indigenous, where they lived in one spot and could track back their lineage for generations. I'm not talking about your grandfather. <coughs> I want you to be abstract. Your ancestors are your spiritual family and some of them are you in past lives. I want you to honor the process of ancestry. Reincarnation begets family who then becomes reincarnated. Some of them are your ancestors. You don't know their names. You cannot picture them. You don't even have photos. But the concept is to honor those who came before you, some of whom are you, and do it every day. The reason I mention this is because it's a return to the old traditions. It's honored by God. It is a way that your free choice is saying, I understand the system, it's beautiful, it's benevolent, and I honor it. It couldn't be clearer. And we haven't heard that from you in this society in hundreds of years. In the morning, some place where you can not be heard. Thank you, ancestors, for bringing me here now at this time. It's personal, and these are the points that I wanted to tell you today. It's not about the energy of the future. It's not about grandiose things. It's about you today. Don't leave, dif don't, don't leave the same. Leave different than you came. Think about these things. Be aware of these things. If you work with this, dear old soul, you will have results. I promise. If you have pure intent to make it work, you're going to see results. It's time to stop the worry and the drama. Stay away from what I will call voluntarily negative attributes. This is negativity that you voluntarily participate in and you may not even be aware of it. Does what is on your television offend your heart? Then turn it off. If you need to know what's happening in the world, get a magazine. Use the internet. You can go at your own pace and see what you need to see. Not what others think you need to see. If you're in a room and they wish to gossip, don't participate. Leave if you can. Be compassionate instead of criticizing. Do not participate 
in the negativity. It'll shut it down, dear ones. Watch it happen. When you don't participate in the circle that is moving and spinning, it stops. These are the things that every day you can do as a light worker. There's more. So many things that I could give you on a day-by-day -day basis that I know that you can literally walk away from if you wish. Drama. When you walk into a drama, walk out. If you see it developing, stop it by compassionate action. Do not defend yourself. It doesn't help. <laughs> Be compassionate. If someone calls your names, that's their problem, not yours. <laughs> Be compassionate with their having a bad day. <laughs> Dear ones, there are ways where you can change who you are, and they will notice. They won't say it, but they'll see you as a little more mature than they are. And then don't be surprised if they decide to emulate it because it's really attractive. Love is attractive. Light is attractive. Benevolence and beauty is attractive more than ever before. And the old soul knows more than anyone on the planet how to make it work. This is the message for you this evening, this day. Again, leave differently than you came. And so it is.